Good evening, I'm Devin Peely. Your stories tonight on the primetime edition. It's a community space. It's very family-oriented. An immigrant family creates a huge film family in Oakland, the 20-plus year Thanksgiving tradition that they hope to expand. Spectacular weather across the Bay Area on this Thanksgiving Thursday, and there's more of the same to come for Black Friday and the actual weekend. Tracking it all in the first alert forecast. Thanksgiving and 49ers, you can't get much better than that. Coming up, we will talk with a local bar who's hosting a watch party. Then we'll head to Santa Rosa, where people who don't have family in the Bay Area just found a place to create new Thanksgiving traditions. Gosh, I'm about to bring the beauty of friendship into my home so that they feel at home. From CBS News Bay Area, this is the Primetime Edition on PIX+. Plus. Good evening, I'm Devin Feely. These are tonight's primetime headlines. A four-day ceasefire between Israel and, uh, and Hamas should be taking effect any moment now, with the first hostage transfer set for about seven hours from now. Hamas is expected to release 13 women and children at first, and we don't know yet who those people are. The agreement calls for a total of 50 Israeli hostages to be exchanged for as many as 150 Palestinian prisoners. The ceasefire could be extended with the release of more hostages. President Biden is planning to talk tomorrow about the deal that the U.S. helped to broker. That was a marching band from Alabama A&M. They were among many performers marching in New York City's 97th annual Thanksgiving Day Parade. An estimated 3.5 million people lined the route to watch. Snoopy led the parade. There were 25 balloons, 31 floats in all. Not everyone was feeling so festive. The parade had a slight pause due to a group of about 30 protesters that lined up across 6th Avenue with a pro-Palestinian banner. Police zip-tied the protesters and ultimately took them into custody. Taking a live look outside at San Francisco City Hall, let's get a check of our first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagen. Devin, happy Thanksgiving, and it was an absolutely beautiful day across the Bay Area. This evening, we're tracking some stronger winds that are starting to develop, kind of coming at us from the north, and they are going to make their way into the